So you were also talking about this fascinating thing, <laughs> maps, gaps, and traps. Yes. <laughs> I want to hear more about that. So this comes from working with your small businesses or did you bring this from corporate? Oh, I brought it from corporate. It's okay. totally a corporate thing. So it's- I was going to say, it seems a little corporate-y, but <laughs> how you apply for small business is probably slightly different. It is slightly different. Yeah. I mean, it definitely scales down. So if you have a goal in mind, you map out your current processes and you map it out. It's like this software does this thing. Uh, this person does that thing from mm -hmm. start of the project to the end result. And you mm -hmm. kind of see where the communications are. Does the software talk to the VA? Does the VA talk to the software? Does the client or mm. the prospect talk to? So you see, we call them swim lanes. Yeah. And so it's you map like out where everybody It's like an old chart, is. basically. Yeah, like a Gantt chart um, okay. in, in many ways. And then you look at opportunities to where there's waste. So either there's time waste, there's duplication, or mm -hmm. there's gaps where it's like, well, this is why it keeps falling apart because we don't have something in place to connect those two processes or those two milestones, yeah. in fact. So that's how you save time and you simplify because the simplest route is what you really want to go for. Yeah, and, and it's, I think it's hard. Like. It was almost easier when we didn't have software. <laughs> In a sense, <laughs> like, no, you're right. I think you're a right. lot of software out there says it's going to fix all these things for you. And really, it just adds another layer. So I was thinking about it because we know each other from Facebook mostly. Right. And so we were communicating that way. And then all of a sudden, I realized I don't even have her email to send her the stuff. And then right. I was like, OK, so then I had to go into Facebook. And instead of just picking up the phone or emailing, we now have 20 different ways to communicate with people. Right. How do you pick which one is going to get through? And so, how do you figure out which is the best one? I mean, it applies there, but yeah. Do you have any right. tips on how to figure out which communication tool is the best for a situation? So I and does it have to be different? Person, I always ask the person, what is their number one go-to? So like my one, um, Empress Judith, she, I reach out to her by text. Mm -hmm. she's not watching Facebook. She's not watch, watching Messenger. Right. I ask people to hit me up in Messenger because I'm like on that 24, not 24 seven, but I'm on that the most. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's ideal for me. But you just ask the people that you're communicating with how mm -hmm. they would best like to, because it's up. It's not your best communication thing. It's how they There's... will see it because you want them to see it. Right. Um, so that they can have that conversation. Um, and then you can also train people. It's like, I, I train people. It's like, I, I only check my email once a day. Yeah. Um, I don't, if you send me an email and you need a response in the next 24 hours, send me a text that you sent me an email. <laughs> right. Which Otherwise, would be helpful if I had your phone number <laughs> before. <laughs> like, I had it once you scheduled, once you booked which show yeah. you wanted to be on, but I didn't have it before that. Come on, what's um, up? <laughs> so, yeah. It's, That's okay. um, but it's, yeah. it's part of that learning process. And it's also part of when we're walking our prospect to client journey, mm -hmm. you got to find out where, where do your ideal prospects hang out at? Mm -hmm. How do they typically communicate and then communicate often? So we right. talked about that at the top of the interview about don't just talk about once, keep talking about it, talk about it in seven different ways, get in yeah. their head. It's like, what are they, what are their, you know, pain points in their words? Right. And then talk about that. Yeah. Um, it's funny. It's reminding me just it, with my residential clients, you know, how often people are so irate that their family members put things away wrong. <laughs> and I'm like, well, did you ever tell them that you like the mugs on this shelf? Well, no, they should just know. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, some of us see that you keep mugs there because there's mostly mugs there, but there's also these other four things and that other cabinet over there has 12 different things in it. So I think you all are storing by shape, not by <laughs> item. Right. So communicate. What is what, what? This is the shelf where the mugs go. Is almost the same thing as I like communicating by text. Like it's all communication. It is.